Hey, what's up everybody, my name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. Today, we're gonna continue our uh, side quest slog with a few new Witcher contracts. We're back on Skellige and uh, we're gonna talk to the village elder in Blondair because he posted a notice for some missing miners. So... Hello, Gya. Greetings, Witcher. Greetings. Uh, I'm here about the notice about those missing miners. Hear about the missing miners. Might be able to help. What happened? Well, we'd heard tales of silver in the northern hills. And seen as coins needed to ready longships for raids, we sent a few lads to see how much truth was in the tales. And, well, they've yet to return. That sounds like a problem, but let's first haggle a bit for the reward. Gotta start by searching for them. That'll take time and drive up costs. As long as they don't soar too high. So a village elder usually has uh, enough coin to get me somewhere. So let's start at 3.30. I can throw in a few crowns more. Handy. For the good of our lads. And let it stand. Deal. Thank you. Okay, I'll look around for them. Might not be much silver in the hills, but there are monsters, definitely. I'll see if the miners came across any. Thank you, Witcher. No more extra information, so, uh, okay then, we're gonna head to the missing miners camp, and I'll see you guys there in a minute. Whoa! Uh, well, on the way to that camp, we have, um, a giant or a cyclops in the way, as you can see. Roach has been replaced with the, the Nilfgaardian Stallion. Uh, he's still called Roach, since Geralt calls every horse he owns Roach. I'm gonna try and attack this Cyclops. Oh, stop whining. Burn, baby, burn, disco inferno. There we go. Another Cyclops down. And then uh, I'm just going to hop back on the Roach. Might want to look around some. Ah, it's a new quest, Hard Times. Well, I'm going to do that later on, probably. And if it's a, a treasure hunt quest, I'm not even going to bother. Because those are, uh, well, have little to do with any kind of real storytelling. So those are the only quests I do keep out of this playthrough. But we've, uh, in the meantime, arrived at the miners' camp. So miners let's camp. Uh, could find some clues. Find some clues. Let's go with Igni. Still, we have a new marker here as well, so we can fast travel away from here if needs be. Sounds like there's a lot of things in the woods. And we have footprints. footprints. Human. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Geralt. I think I could see that with my bare eyes, but... Uh, let's see where this is going. There's a few wolves here. We're gonna have to fight these first. And there we go. All the wolves down. Let's collect those uh, hides, because the white wolf hides are actually pretty uh, expensive. If I, if I can get a few, but don't have that much luck, apparently. One out of the six. Okay, so we found a body over here. So let's check it out. Wounds caused by a blunt instrument. Rib cage smashed in. A blunt instrument sounds like... Well, that Cyclops we just killed. Someone What's crawled through this? here with a broken leg. Scuff marks. So let's follow those. See if we uh, don't find anyone who's still alive. Ooh. Wind didn't fell these trees. Something else did. Something big. Okay, so that points to a Cyclops or a giant of some sort. It's going inside this cave. Oh, there's something Crushed here. Bones. 
human bones. The rock troll looks like. Ah, okay. That's actually not that bad. So let's take a look. Yeah, there it is. So uh, I'm gonna save just in case. Let's check out what oil I need to use. Wham a wham is an ogroid. Rock trolls come across as dim-witted, ponderous, slow, stupid to be frank. It's easy to dismiss them and even easier to enrage them. When this happens, one's best bet is to run as fast as possible. For an angered rock troll is as deadly as a thundering landslide. This truth held in the case of the massive rock troll known as Whamma Wham. His every blow struck like a battering ram, meaning one needed to either avoid them entirely or protect oneself with the Quen sign. Its hard skin meant it was nearly invulnerable to sword strikes, especially those dealt from behind, where its rock armor is the thickest. The only hope for defeating it lay in taking advantage of its typical troll slowness, especially if further exploited using the Erden sign. So we're going to use the uh, Ogroid oil immediately to fix one of the problems. Maybe cause some uh, bleeding or poison. Let's reapply Quen and let's head in there. I think Igni doesn't do much against this thing. Holy shit, he's on fire! Stop it. I want to talk. Yeah, I don't know if he wants to talk. Wait, I want to talk. Okay, he looks awesome. Talk, talk, but you can't. Or call you whamma wham like this. Exactly. Why do you wham him? Things in war troll house. Trolls say out man's, but. They wham a wham troll rocks. So troll wham too. So because they destroyed your rocks, you killed them. I let this slide, they were asking for it. Hmm. Well he did it's still a dangerous creature in this case, because he attacked me on sight. Uh so I'm gonna decipher won't get away with this. Sorry, can't let you get away with this. What now? Okay, uh, Geralt, get out your sword, please. Thank you. It goes on the defensive really fast. See? After one hit, he already starts defending, so I need to be careful about that yeah there he goes so heavy strikes just let him go on the defensive like that he's actually pretty fast even with the the urn sign on and he takes damage from the glyphs as well so what you're seeing ticking down is his uh, poison and the urn sign at the same time. Which deals uh, a large amount of damage over time. But there he goes. Let's take everything and his head as well. I wonder if his head will be glowing on the roach's side. And chop! Thank you, because I need your head for the reward. I'm going to take a quick peek around, and if I don't find anything, because it's pretty dark in here. If I don't find anything... Oh, look at that. Crap. So, uh, I'll uh, probably meet you guys back at uh, the village elder. Unless there's maybe something in this chest over here. Nothing of interest. So, I'll see you guys back at the village so we're back at the village. I'm just gonna ride Roach to the hilltop and we'll talk to the Elder again as we did before. And get our reward. He shouldn't be uh, making a fuss about this. Hello, Gyar. Greetings, Watcher. Because we killed what he was after, so. Found your miners. They went in a troll's cave and started mining while the troll was home. 
did do any... No. No. Troll won't be any more trouble, though. Small comfort. Still earned my reward. Yeah, here. Safe journey to you. Well, thank you, sir. There we go. Not too many and as you uh, can see, we're again put at the final preparations quest from the main quest. But I'm uh, going to continue with a few more contracts. So contract the missing mine is completed and I will swap what to our see? next contract. A dragon. We need to talk to the village elder of Fire's Doll. And uh, well, I guess I'll see you guys there in a minute. I don't know if these, if you guys know this, but uh, witches are actually forbidden, forbidden, for, sorry, forbidden by code to uh, kill dragons because they're uh, noble and intelligent creatures in this universe, and that's why uh, we shouldn't kill them. But we're gonna see if this is actually about a dragon. Hello, Vog. I'm gonna ignore the other cries for help for now. Uh, yeah, about that dragon. Tell me about this dragon what's it look like for instance you don't know what kind of monster slayer are ye it's got scales wings claws a dragon's a dragon you point gavin just go kill it for it makes more corpses well uh let's first talk about my reward let's talk about the reward see what you're offering for this dragon usually get that much for a necker so we start at 273, the maximum rate is a bit higher than with the previous contract. I'm gonna start at 350. You're there goes the annoyance. Too many, okay then, let's go to 320. There we go. And it's that's a, a deal then. A dragon's a lot too, so be it. Thanks. Thank you. So uh, let's look into this, shall we? Witches don't usually kill dragons, but I'll look into it. You said something about victims, right? Two brothers, Askel and Nilis, went out to hunt, turned into prey. Wounds so horrible, even I went weak in the knees when they brought them in. And I've seen my share of bloody harm. Been on 32 raids, from Povis to the mountains of... Fascinating story, I'm sure, but I'm more interested in these wounds. Can you describe them? Look for yourself. Family's only now preparing the boy's funeral. Their corpses still lie in their home. How convenient. Just northern end. But treat the bodies with respect, mind ye, as tradition demands. We shall uh, do our best. I'm going to ignore these guys for now, because uh, I'll probably do that later on. But uh, let's go check out the victim's mother. Well, that sounded wrong. I meant check out the bodies, but hey. Hello, Carly. Well, well. Another come to gawk at the dragon's victims. Perhaps I should start charging for the pleasure. No, no, we're not here for that. I wouldn't pay you, though. See enough corpses in my line of work. I'm a witcher. Here because I took the contract for that dragon of yours. I'm here to avenge your for sons. Me, I, I didn't know. How, how can I help? Um, where were they found? Where were the bodies found? In the glade past the river. The lads, they like that place and the tykes. He's they missing his legs. Because uh, we're still not convinced that this is a dragon, because it could be any type of thing. A basilisk, a foretail, a wyvern. But hey, let's uh, examine their wounds. Might not be easy for you, but I have to look at their injuries. At least you asked me permission, not like the others. If it'll help you kill the beast, fine, do as you will. Thank That's you. everything for now. Thanks for your help. And I promise to avenge them. Because dragons actually usually don't uh, go after humans, so one's missing an arm and one is missing a leg. Claw marks, bite marks, but no fire damage. Interesting. So that's already a sign that this will not be a, a dragon. So let's follow the monster's tracks and uh, see if we can find the site of the attack. It's apparently up north. Doesn't look that far away, so uh, there's actually a really cool ruin over there. But hey, let's see here. To follow the monster's tracks, there's a dead Pretty cow over dragon. here. Couldn't lift a cow, just tore it up and left it here. Oh, so it's probably something weaker, as we thought. 
Don't see. Oh, there we go. Blood. Cow's blood might lead me to the lair. That's actually a really new idea with tracks because I haven't really f followed blood from uh, any of its prey before. Oh, well, we tracked persons walking uh, through the field bleeding, but uh, it's a bit of a different way of following a track. Okay, over here through the woods, and we are at that cool uh, ruin. There's a dead dog over here. Bone shattered. Disemboweled. High up. So I think I should be applying Draconid oil a just nest. the same. A fork tails looks like, but it's empty. No point waiting. Got to rustle up some bait. Okay. Talk to the village elder in Firezal about bait. And that's what we'll do. So see you guys back in Firezal in a second. And I still need to walk past those guys yelling, Hey, Witcher! Witcher! So will you help with the dragon or not? Yeah, but we need some bait. Found your dragon's nest. But I'll need bait to kill it. A sheep, for instance. Ah, I see. I'm gonna stuff it with sulfur. Uh, no. Another ally of the brave little shoemaker. Now I'll manage without sulfur. Just need a sheep, unseasoned. Fine. There's one I can give you. A bit mangy, but it'll do. Know how to get a sheep to move where you want? Gotta drive it like a sheepdog. Go at it from the left, it'll go right. Go at it from the right, it'll go left. Dogs have figured it out. Think I'll manage as well. This sounds like it's going to be annoying. How do you call a sheep? Here, sheepy sheepy. Hey sheep, come here. We got us a fork tail to hunt. Okay then, so uh guide the sheep. No, no, right, right. Okay. And there's the fork tail. So let's apply the draconid oil. And I missed myself because I used the enhanced, well, the, the hangman's venom, so I need to use the draconid oil, but they're both green, so that's a bit of a problem. He's actually called the dragon. No, you won't. There we go. A mix of Igni, the Dragonet Oil, and a lot of bleeding effect, apparently. Go on, she killed it all. You've earned it. <laughs> Some dragon scales, another sword, and a trophy, of course. It was actually a really cool fork tail. He had a sort of blade on his head as well. And chop! A lot more aggressive than the normal fork tails as well. Let's hop onto Roach, and I'll see you guys back in a second. Okay, so we're back at the village elder. Yeah, we did. Problem solved. Solved your problem. And that it? Tell me more. Did the dragon breathe fire? Spit venom? It was uh yeah, and it had golden scales. <laughs> yep, let's go with that one. Yeah. And it had golden scales and smoke poured out its ass like it does out of a chimney. Just like the skulls sing it. You've earned your reward. And the princess's hand. But I'll just take the coin. 
Oh, you joker, you. So, thank you, uh... What was your name? Vogn? Thank you for my reward. So, that's another episode with two Witcher contracts completed. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to uh, give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because any support is really, really appreciated. Uh, that guy is not carrying anything, although he looks like it. But, thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye!